Hi, welcome to my channel. I hope you all had, had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I did. I'm traveling, visiting relatives. And today I have a review of Sol de Janeiro Chirosa 62. The first thing I want to say is that I love this perfume. I'm wearing it right now. It is my scent of the day. And I'm wearing it along with the Viva La Juicy Couture Gold Edition. And the reason why I thought these two would go well together is because the base are almost alike, except for this one doesn't have amber and this one has amber, but it has vanilla. It has um, sandalwood, caramel. This has salt and this has amber in the base, which is the only um, difference. Well, this, this has different top and middle notes. So does this one, but the bases are almost the same. So that was my point. So anyway, my review will be today of Sol Chirosa. Now I was saying Chirosa because I think it's so fun to say Chirosa. <laughs> I think it sounds like a really cool uh, thing to say. But then I looked up the pronunciation and this is Portuguese. So I hope I'm saying it better now. And I looked it up and I think it's Chirosa, something like that. So anyway, I enjoyed this perfume yesterday and I'm wearing it again today. It has a wonderful, sweet, salty fragrance. It has a quartz of um, vanilla, caramel, almond, sweet, nutty, woody, powdery, salty, fruity, and balsamic. Now, the lotion smells the same. Um, I love the lotion. It's very smooth and it smells the same and I've been enjoying it throughout this whole month. Um, now, for the top notes of this perfume, we have pistachio, almond, <clears throat> mill notes are heliotrope, and that's a purple flower, and it also has jasmine. So, this is described on Fragrantica as amber vanilla for women. Um, and the nose on this perfume is Jerome Epinette. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Um, and so the base for this perfume is caramel, vanilla, salt, and sandalwood. You guys, this is so beautiful. A lot of people have reviewed it online, but the only way you can get its beauty is if you use it on your body. That way you can get the compliments of your chemistry on your skin. Now, it lasted on me a long time, probably because I felt like I bathed myself in it because I just kept smelling it and I just kept saying, ooh, I love it. <laughs> so, um, yes, and I liked it so much that I'll be wearing it today also. I showered last night and I wanted to get another fresh, you know, a fresh layering of both the lotion and the perfume. Uh, yesterday, I layered it with the couture, but today I'm not going to be layering it, um, at least not for um, the morning time since I'm going to go out to breakfast. I'll be layering it for later on this afternoon. And so <clears throat> this lasted me at least four hours. Um, I still smelled it on my clothes. Now, over here where I'm visiting right now, it's kind of cold. And so I noticed that um, I've been really thirsty, even though it's cold over here. Um, it's a little bit drier than the city where I live. So maybe that's why I had to, you know, respray. Re so that's why I took a shower so I can try it out today. But like I said, I will be um, using it along with the Juicy Couture later on after breakfast, probably. But um, the juice looks really beautiful. It's a bright yellow and the bottle feels so good on my hand. The glass is very heavy and the lid is plastic. Um, the lid is very beautiful. It looks like a disco ball, which I love disco balls since I'm an 80s girl. And so I still go to, you know, the old so here it is. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna spray it a bit. Wonderful. I get, the first thing I get is the pistachio notes. 
I get the pistachio first, and then I get the woodsy notes, and then at the very end, um, like right now, I'm smelling both, the pistachio mixed with the sweet and the wood. Um, and then the almond too. So the almond comes in there a little bit after the first whiff. And let me tell you, um, the almond is very prevalent here as it reminds me of the Bath and Body Works body spray that's um, almond blossom, I think it's called. And I can't wait to get home and try and layer this one with the Bath and Body Works almond blossom. I think it would be awesome. Um, excuse my voice, I'm a little bit raspy here. Um, so this bottle is a 50 ml bottle, which I thought it was going to be a hundred. Um, here is the box and I will show you how beautiful it is. Of course, the box is not what's important, but you do feel good opening up a bottle and you feel happy when you look at the bright yellow colors. Um, I'm very much into colors, you guys. I don't know if I've told you that before, but I'm going to read to you what it says in here. And it says the warmth and rhythms of Brazil alive and irresistible to capture the heart of summer. This is the scent of Chirosa 62, blended with addiction, with additive, sorry, <laughs> I don't know why I said addiction, with additive gourmand notes of salted caramel, pistachio, jasmine petals, and vanilla to touch all the senses. The scent of summer. Wow, you guys. It says it's vibrant and irresistible. C'est la parfum. Chiriosa 62. Oh my gosh, you guys. I feel like I talk another language. Anyhow, I do talk another language, but um, I talk Spanish, which sometimes helps me in um, reading and speaking um, the Romance languages like Italian, um, French. But anyhow, um, I just want to tell you all that I really enjoyed this perfume and um, I think it's going to be part of my life for a long time. I bought it at um, Sephora and like I said, it's a 50 mil. I was a little disappointed because I thought it was 100 mil, but I still bought it and I think it was under, I think it was under $65 around there. Yeah, I think I got it for like $65 at Sephora. And um, anyhow, this will be in my life forever. I love it. Uh, if you are a gourmand lover, you're gonna love it. If you don't like gourmand too much, you might not like it. Um, I like all kinds of fragrances. I like florals, gourmand, citrusy. And this one hits the nail, it hits the spot, you guys. This is beautiful. I don't know if you have it, but go get, go ahead and give it a little sniff when you go to Sephora and see if you might like it. Um, I don't think it's a, it's a really bad price. I think it's a really good price. I actually bought the Bum Bum Cream, and Bum Bum Cream smells a lot like the perfume, and it's very smooth. Um, this one I bought at Sephora also, but I bought it a while back. I bought this first and then I bought this one. Um, I also have the little body spray but it's at home and I can't wait to go home and layer the body spray that it comes with and the this lotion and the, and the uh, perfume. So that way it will be bombastic. It will be wow guys this is a strong perfume when you walk in, people give you a hug and a kiss. Because I don't know about you guys, but in my culture, everyone gets a hug and a kiss in the cheek. Okay? During um during the time when the world was locked down, it was really hard for me to contain myself because throughout my whole life, I have been greeting people by a hug and a kiss on the cheek especially those tias, those aunties, those Mexican tias that love to say, come here, mijo, look how big you've grown. Give a big old hug and give a big kiss. And the kids are like, ew, tia. And they're like rubbing the kiss from your cheek, from their cheek. That's the kind of person that I am. So it was really hard. But nowadays, 
since I am just loving and enjoying perfume and loving and enjoying life with my perfumes, I love being hugged and people always compliment me, okay? So, so far I got two compliments from a member of my family with this perfume and with this perfume and the combination of the Juicy Couture. So you guys, you will definitely get a lot of compliments. You're gonna walk in the room, you're gonna hug people now that it's a lot safer to hug people and you're going to get someone saying, oh, tia, you smell so good. Yes, because it's going to be true. You are going to smell so good, okay? This is bombastic. This is dynamite. Amazing. I love it. And it will be in my life for a long time. So anyway, you guys, I hope you're going to be enjoying your holiday season. I have here some flowers. This is not my house. This is um, a family member's home. They're letting us stay here while we uh, keep visiting relatives until we go back home. So you guys have a great and wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you decided to click on my video. Please don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.